Good afternoon, La Villa School of the Arts. So I know this has been really challenging for everybody, adjusting to the remote learning and teaching. And I've been trying to think of different ways to present material to you that will be more like what we get at school, more personal. I've been giving you assignments to do in charm so that you can keep playing with your instrument. But what I want to do is put together a series of lectures. And these lectures are gonna be maybe 10 or 15 minutes long. As I get into some of the playing masterclasses, it might be a little bit longer. But the whole idea is something that you can just listen to and think about and try to apply to your life and to your studies and to everything that you're doing. This first lecture, as I was working on it, I found an article that I wrote for a, a book. It was called The Woodwind Player's Cookbook, Creative Recipes for a Successful Performance. And if you can see it from there, I'm number one right on the list. And so the compiler of this book asked me to write an article, I could write whatever I wanted to, about success as a musician. And as I was reading it, I thought, this is really good stuff, and I want to share that with my students. And so I hope you'll take 10 minutes to watch this video. You don't even have to watch it, just listen, and maybe jot down some notes about things that you can use for yourself. It's really a article talking about philosophy and how to become successful. So the title of the article, because I was the professor of oboe at Stetson at the time that I wrote this, I wrote it in 2008. It's called Preparing a Professional Oboist. But I can just change the word oboe to musician and it'll say the same thing. It really applies to everybody. And of course I was being really cute because it was called Recipes for Successful Performance. I have up here my list of ingredients, two measures of discipline, one measure of setting goals, one measure of creating strategies, one measure of developing good habits, one measure of passion for music. Shake vigorously until frothy and top off with commitment and dedication. Serves anyone who strives to become a successful professional musician and teacher. Becoming a professional musician and teacher requires more than the fundamentals of playing the oboe. It is imperative to be passionate for what you do. I believe that I am a teacher every minute of my life, whether I'm performing a recital, attending a concert, or giving a lesson. I believe that it is important to be a positive role model in every aspect, in everything that I do. In addition to teaching my students the fundamentals of playing and developing their musical skills, I consider it my responsibility to expand the student's vision, to expose the student to a genuine enthusiasm for music, and to set a foundation to be successful in life. As a teacher, I place an emphasis on philosophy and constantly encourage my students to develop a personal philosophy that will permeate every aspect of their lives. Establishing discipline. Nothing meaningful comes without discipline and hard work. Let me say that again. Nothing meaningful comes without discipline and hard work. If you look closely at all great musicians and teachers, one common trait that they all have is a strong work ethic. These musicians have an intense motivation to succeed and they always remain focused on that aspiration. We all have the desire to be the best in our field, but we do not always take the steps required to achieve that desire. It is easy to say that we want to be the best, but the true test is determined by how committed we are to reach that level. Learn how to fight through adversity. We all encounter in life and challenge yourself to accomplish things 
you never dreamed possible. Being highly motivated, disciplined, and dedicated to your profession are fundamental qualities for your success. First of all, look closely at your actions. How hard do you work? Are you organized? Do you maintain discipline in your life? It is essential to establish a solid work ethic and strategies in order to excel as a musician. Write down your goals and discuss them with people whom you respect. Create a plan and follow the advice of your teacher. Perhaps the one person closest to you who has experience in moving students from one level to the next. Developing this kind of discipline and focus will result in realizing your goals. Your teacher is perhaps your best ally to help you achieve your goals and overcome your challenges. If you truly aspire to work at your highest level, you will create a, self, a sense of self-esteem that will help you believe in yourself and facilitate your desire to push yourself beyond what you ever thought possible. When you reach a setback, the first thing to do is figure out what it will take to overcome your obstacle. Establish strategies and develop a timeline for how and when you will conquer this challenge. Take the responsibility to figure out for yourself what you need to do. Practice carefully, pay attention to detail, and develop a systematic way to practice with consistency. Schedule your practice time when you can concentrate without distractions. You owe it to yourself to take pride in what you do and to do everything possible to work at your highest level. Nothing does more for your self-esteem than the confidence you gain when you can develop to do the things that are expected of you. Setting goals. Setting goals will help you develop strategies that provide achievable objectives for improvement. In order to be your best, you must not practice aimlessly. It is a critical fundamental for improvement to make a plan for how you will progress. Take an honest look at yourself, at your strengths and your weaknesses, and work with what you already have to take your playing to the next level. It is natural to want to work on what comes easily and avoid which is difficult. Address issues that are more difficult first. It is important to set demanding goals that are going to help you overcome your weaknesses. Don't set unrealistic goals, but don't set your standards too low either. The key is to continually reevaluate your goals, which will allow you to reach your full potential. Keep a practice journal and write down step by step what it will take to accomplish your vision. You need to be organized, and establish short-term as well as long-term objectives. Organize your day by establishing a systematic plan and setting specific goals. You should decide what you want to accomplish and determine what methods you are going to use. Start each practice session with a purpose. End each practice session evaluating your accomplishments and developing a practice schedule for the next day. By making a daily plan, you are instantly establishing a foundation and structure to your practice routine. Reaching your goals will enable you to have faith in your abilities and develop self-confidence. Don't allow obstacles or difficulties to dominate your life. Be positive and self-motivated if you are passionate for what you are doing, your work will become what you love to do. If you are highly motivated to do well, you will be excited about everything you do and always work to be the best you can be. When you approach life with a positive attitude, you tend to attract others with the same desires, which is very exciting and stimulating. 
you should always generate an aura of excitement and enthusiasm for what you are doing. Immerse yourself into what you are trying to become. Listen to music, read about music, attend concerts and recitals and master classes, and associate with other musicians by participating in your professional organizations. Developing good habits. Coming to your lesson or rehearsals unprepared is obvious and frustrating for the teacher or the conductor. Your time gets more unmanageable as the day progresses. Develop your habit to practice in the morning when you are more alert and you have fewer distractions. So many students tend to put off their practice time to the evening when they are tired and unable to focus. Be sure to get enough rest and maintain a healthy diet and lifestyle. It takes a lot of energy to stay focused and to work at your peak. These habits will guard against underachieving and help you reach your goals. Pay attention to people who are already successful. You can learn through their experiences. People all around you, professors, friends, other students, have things to teach you. You need to be receptive to them. It is easy to be closed-minded with respect to who you choose for your role models, not even taking into consideration what you can learn from your contemporaries. Look to role models as people you can emulate, people from whom you can learn, and people for whom you have a great amount of respect. It is important to select the right role models. Be sure to seek out people who can help you and who will support and encourage you to be the best you can be. As you set your goals and develop your own philosophy by which you live, not only will you improve as a performer and person, you'll become that, you will become one that will motivate and inspire others. In talking about attending concerts and master classes and recitals, you are so fortunate to have at your fingertips access to all of those things. I mentioned to you about the Berlin Philharmonic Digital Library, which has thousands of recordings. Each orchestra that you might look up, Chicago Symphony, New York Phil, San Francisco, St. Louis, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, any number of orchestras have a lot of recordings online that you can look at and listen to. There are lots of master classes online that you can be learning from. I found the Carnegie Hall master class series, but if you just look up online, you know, master class for the flute, you'll find a lot that you can look at. You could look at a ma different master class every day for a very long time and gain a lot from it. One thing I do want to mention though, when you're listening to concerts or watching master classes or listening to my lectures, think about what you're hearing. Maybe make some notes, but um, when you're listening to a symphony, for an example, get a little information about the orchestra that's playing. Who is the conductor? Uh, who is the composer? When did the composer live? What, what style was the piece written in? Don't just do the assignment because I asked you to listen to a symphony. Listen to it and bring knowledge to yourself that's interesting. That's all part of creating your own philosophy. You know, I, when I reread this article, it was really exciting to me because I feel like I do live by that philosophy that I wrote about back in 2008. And it's something that you'll constantly develop throughout your life. So I hope this was interesting for you. It's something to think about, some food for thought <laughs> from the Woodwind Players Cookbook. Um, upcoming, my next lecture I want to talk about is how to practice. And so I'll have that for next time. So I hope you all have a great day.